Okay, so a lot of people like my little lap vice video. I thought I would shoot a quick construction video, take you through making the one, two, three, four parts. Right? That's one, two, three, four. Um, so here's the uh, the first part that you need to make. It is nothing more than a two by four and it's got two holes and let's say that they're five or so inches apart on center so to make these two um, what I would do what I actually did is uh, I clamped the two together I got them nice and straight and then I drilled a three quarter inch hole with a four snare bit through the two of them at the same time so that the holes are pretty much perfectly aligned. Um, if you own a drill press, that's the best way to do it because you can get the holes to be perfectly square to the board. Um, once you've done that, you're going to take another length of 2 by 4 I cut these little fancy feet on it. Uh, they don't need to be there. And you just screw the two of them at the width of the next piece, which I'll show you in a second. So two screws, otherwise they, they spin. Um, and this width here is the width of that, which will be the next piece that we talk about. So when I made this, I had a 2x4, and I took the 2x4, and I cut two short blocks for it, and then I glued them side to side to the side of the 2x4, um, give it a day or so for the glue to dry, and while you're waiting for that glue to dry, you can take another couple of pieces of 2x4 and glue them up so that you have something kind of wedge shaped with uh, the angle that you would typically expect to cut at which I don't know what that is maybe 20-25 degrees doesn't really matter uh, but that all is just glued there there's no screws in in any of this and before you glue this block up if you have a drill press a great way to make a hole square through it is to drill it first then to glue it and then you glue everything up here clamp it all down walk away <clears throat> on the back side my old old belt just broke so I just replaced my old belt with a new belt took a, a belt wrapped it in some leather and a washer and a screw go through the belt and attach to one side. The other side, I've got another screw head. This goes around your back and will attach here so that this can get belted to you. Some things that you might want to do if, uh, if you like to sit you want this to be comfortable you can kind of cut it out to a rounded profile you can take off the square corners here with uh, any saw that you have and I did it on a, a band saw um, if you do it by hand saw it might take you all 30 seconds later but just doing that and then you could either file or draw a knife and just round over the edges and the underside if you want. Not important, but if you want to do it, you can. Um, all right, the dumb head is super, super simple. It is nothing more than a block of wood with yet another hole drilled in it. Same idea, drill your hole and you're done. Um, this can be whatever size you want. My original dumb head was quite a bit larger and I have cut it smaller and smaller over the years. 
just to give me more clearance between the jaws so that when this part and that part are together the maximum height that I can grab is going to be controlled by how big this is and how far apart those two pins are. So I am a turner and I had some cherry laying around. So I turned my pins and uh, they don't need to be anything this fancy. You can literally, we're going to play pretend here for a second. Pretend this is a three-quarter inch dowel. It's also I don't have a dowel laying around, otherwise I would just use that. But pretend like it's a three-quarter inch dowel. And uh, maybe you buy an oak one or a maple one. And then you take a little block with a hole in it. And you glue the two together. And you make two of those. And now you've got the pins for putting everything together. So a pin goes in. This is the hard part, shooting, talking, assembling all at the same time. All right, so that's pin one. Hang on a sec. Pin one, pin two, all together. There we go. And you're fully assembled. So that's it. It shouldn't take you more than a half an hour plus the uh, time it takes for glue to dry to make something like this. Um, you shouldn't need anything more than a drill. And if you don't know what a Forstner bit is, I'll take you. Figure out where my Forstner bits are. So these are Forstner bits. They're great for drilling those types of holes. Um, if you don't have one of those, and you have a spade bit, you can use a spade bit. You just don't get as clean of a hole. Um, but that doesn't matter. And then the last little thing that I did was I bought these cotter pins and I drilled another hole. Just do that by eye. And these cotter pins block over the pegs, which it's a lot easier to do with two hands. But they just keep things from falling out. Um, so anyway, that's the video. Good luck if you're going to build it. Hopefully uh, you found this interesting.